Well, good morning, cats and kittens and feral souls and my YouTube darlings. Well, I left you off on a few vlogs ago in this campground, and I'm just going to go and take a hot shower. Good morning. Got my shower backpack on. It's always ready to go and oh, it's a beautiful sunny day. Well, let's just get the shower. Uh -huh. So good. Okay, got my shower backpack. So good. I feel so good after that shower. Back to camp. So now I want to, I'm gonna make a cup of coffee. there. Oh. It's hard to drive in this with the windows blacked out and also not very safe. Uh, okay, so I am going to make a cup of coffee. And let's go get Ninth washed. Ninth is really dirty, okay, from that long travel cross country. Don't hit the tree. Okay, let's make some coffee and then let's head out. Well, good morning, cats and kittens and feral souls and my YouTube darlings. It is another day. It's also a very stormy day here on the Atlantic coast. I am heading to the ferry right now to go down to South Point. It's actually remarkably warm for it being a rainy day. Like, I think, let's see here on my other phone, it, uh, it's, it's 62 degrees, which isn't bad at all. So let's get up to this ferry and uh, get down to South Point. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Will I be able to make it on the next one? Yeah. Oh, wait. Are, is everyone loading right now? Right now. Oh, I make it? Yeah. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Okay. Oh, Pardon me? Yeah, just one person. Um, let's see, and it's $7? Okay. Can you break 100 I hate to do that. Here, here's my credit card. I know, I figured it was a bit early for that. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Merry you too. Merry Christmas. Oh, we made it. Okay, kids. I have not been on a ferry since 2006. 
17. So this is exciting. Sorry it's a rainy day, but I can't control the weather. Okay, this nice man's going to park us. Oh, we're going in this lane here. I got onto the ferry and I'm taking us to South Point this morning um, and then I'll be heading down the mainland to who knows where. I've just been researching places that I find are interesting and something that I would like and something that I might like to see because I'm in the area. So that's what we're doing today. It's a rainy day. They're calling for thunderstorms all along the coast. Um, I don't have a warm weather raincoat, so that's something I might have to pick up. I wasn't planning on rain, but it's still beautiful and it's super warm. Yeah. Gray winter day, Carolina coast. South Point earlier um, and it's a cute little town a very cute little town I'm just gonna drive around here lots of little shops and old tiny buildings oh yeah Oh, hello, South Carolina prices. This should be good. Gassing up here at South Point in South Carolina. I just left Carolina Beach. I just loved it there. Oh, I got to head down the road today. That is not a bad deal at all. And away we go. Welcome 
welcome to Muriel's Inlet. This is another super cutie pie um, beach town. It, you know, you can see here, let me just zoom in right there, like see right there. They were hit by some of the hurricanes and so they're still doing cleanup from September and restoration on homes. But I just love seeing the palm trees. Let's put you back up on the steady stand here. And um, yeah, just uh, driving around and looking at things. There's this very interesting building up here. <laughs> There's some really cool architecture. So we'll just drive around and have a look at it. We'll just do a little drive and chat today. We had a heavy thunderstorm and there was flooding. So that was a bit, no, that wasn't very much fun. Um, and I think I passed this interesting building that's up here. Yeah. I, you know me, if you've been watching my channel, I am definitely a beach girl. My best friend was asking me, which do you prefer more, the mountains or the beach? And you know, it's really hard for me to answer that and say for sure. Like, I love being in the mountains. I'm actually, I've been dreaming of skiing and dreaming of the mountains while I'm over here on the East Coast in 75 degrees today. Um, but I also really, really love the beach. And I find myself, as I get older, going more to the beach than to the mountains. So just up here, I'm gonna show you this really cool structure. So you see this pile like right here? That's from, like, and there's a door that got ripped off. And, their cabinets got destroyed. It's really sad. Like, that's the scary part about living in places like this. I mean, I... <clears throat> hurricanes on the coast and then there was a tornado, I think, in Louisiana last night. And I read on the news, guy goes to work and comes home and his whole house and his family are gone. Like, his family got swooped up with the house in a tornado, like, ugh, it's just so sad. So it's very windy today, as you can see by the palm trees, and I don't know if you can hear it in the car here, I'll put the window up so it's not so loud, and you can hear me a bit better. But it is a gorgeous day. I woke up this morning, it was 38, where I woke up, and so 38 outside, 47 in my car. I don't mind it too much. I have enough blankets and everything. Um, oh, here's that structure I want to show you. Hopefully I can uh, get it. Oh my goodness, you're not going to believe <laughs> Look at that place. It's like an alien spaceship. Oh my gosh. I wonder if it's someone's real residence. Sorry about the wind. But I uh, will just put you up over the fence here and I'll zoom you in. So yeah, this is somebody's house at Muriel's Inlet. I'm gonna look up on Airbnb and see if it can be rented. And guys, if I can rent it, I just might rent it so we can go inside. Okay, let's go to dinner. This one is a pretty little town, so pretty. Look at the marina. Oh, Going for dinner. Gulf Stream. We are going to have low country boil today. So if you come to the East Coast, you gotta try a low country boil. It's amazing. Okay, get parked. This is low country boil. That's to clean myself up after. A nice martini some bread and the waitress is bringing me some butter. Peel and eat shrimp.
Ah, good morning. Good morning from Muriel's Inlet. I have just made myself a cup of coffee. I'm gonna walk up here to this boardwalk and see the beach for sunrise. So I stayed here last night in this quaint little neighborhood. Um, that's the beautiful part about being stealth. I have a lot of subscribers that are like, oh Mindy, you need to get yourself a little camper. I have one. So, oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at this fancy place. Oh, could you imagine staying at that at the beach? Oh my God. I wonder if the hot tub's hot. <laughs> I should have hopped the fence last night and had a hot tub. No, that would be trespassing. I don't recommend that. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh good morning. Good morning, Atlantic Ocean. Oh. So as I just showed you, I stayed in this little neighborhood at Muriel's Inlet. And um, that is why I built out my Honda Element the way that I did. Uh, towing a big fifth wheel or a trailer or being in a van would be way too obvious. I mean, there are people that have come and parked a little bit earlier and they they don't know that I'm in my car, you know, my car is like 13 feet long and it's an SUV. Like why would, why would anybody live in an SUV? Anyways, that is why I love having the Honda element, but let's go down to the beach for sunrise. The one thing I love about the Atlantic coast is there's a lot of seashells on the beach. I don't find that a lot in the Pacific Northwest anymore. I mean, if there's a big storm, then we get them. But I mean, occasionally I'll find a sand dollar, but I'm just gonna enjoy my coffee now and uh, take a nice morning beach walk. Good morning.